Hey, what's up, everybody? So, uh, we're at Champions Fitness. About to start the day with some training. It's the best way to start the day. Even if you don't want to go to the gym, force yourself to go. After you force yourself to go to the gym, like within like the first 30 minutes, you feel amazing, man. Even if you're sluggish and you're like, oh, I ain't going to no freaking gym. Man, you start setting off chemicals and endorphins in your brain once you start training that make you feel so freaking good. Total game changers for the day. You could be having the worst freaking day and then you go to the gym and everything turns around. Like you just start to feel incredible. Don't skip. That's one reason I go to the gym because, man, everything is better when I train. You know what I'm saying? The world is just a better place when I'm in the gym. No doubt about it. All right, so when's the bleeding going to stop? Oh, my God, the, the freaking every support level and support line for AMC has been demolished. doesn't even exist anymore. Screw technical analysis. It's all out the door. Technical analysis. You're trying to predict what's going to happen tomorrow, what the price is going to be, and it's absolutely pointless at this freaking point, okay? Um, I, here's, here's my take. Here's my take. Apes are selling, okay? CEO is selling. Everybody's selling. Because people, you got to realize, are, are taking huge losses, but some people are still ahead. Some people got in at such a low number, man. They're saying, shit, I'm bailing now before my buy-in price is reached. Because some people were still ahead because they got in for six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars okay? Those people are bailing. I know those people are bailing because I talked to them. I talked to them on uh, Facebook, talked to them on Instagram, talked to them on YouTube. And their fear is that there is no new floor. The floor is going to continue to plummet to 16, 15, 14. What do I think about that? Here's what I think about that. And I understand your fear, okay? And I feel really sorry for everybody that's trapped. At $40 or $45, you are screwed right now. You're hurting right now. And you know what? You're reading all this shit that, oh, it's buying time. It's buying season. Everything's on sale. Yet all your money is trapped at $45. And you're like, I can't buy shit. You're screwed, man. You're, You're wedged into a corner right now. And like, I feel you. I feel you, man. It sucks. Because you were thinking this thing would have squeezed by now. You'd have all this Christmas money. You'd have you a new car. And it's not looking too good. You know what? Okay, my take on the $14, $15 theories out there that this thing is going that low. I honestly think it's going to be a mind screw once it breaks $19, $19, $18. I don't, okay, I could be wrong. I'm just speaking for a, you know a lot of us in the way we think. And $18 is going to be such a crazy buy for this thing. I would imagine a lot of investors still knowing the backstory to AMC, knowing how the squeeze will be taking its toll here eventually on the market. You know what I'm saying? When it squeezes, it's going to suck the life out of everything. And it's going to catapult the stratosphere's freaking heights. I mean, it's going to take money away from a lot of different uh, cryptocurrency, to be honest with you. It's going to pull a lot of money out of freaking Bitcoin when she squeezes. So keeping that in mind, man, keeping, you know, understanding that the play is still in effect. It's just the ticker price is suffering really hard right now. But some people will look at that $18. People that have $100,000 two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars, they're going to look at that as, there you go, there's my entry, and they're going to drop a ton of freaking money in those areas, so I don't see it going to 15, it very well could, but I just, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why are people not going to pounce on it at 18, you know, 19, um, I'm going to average down at eight, if I see it hit 18 dollars, I'm going to drop another 10,000 dollars on it probably. That's my way of thinking. I'm not going to wait for it to go to 17 because what if it doesn't go to 17 and it bounces right back to 30? And we just lost that amazing freaking $18 buy-in or that $19 buy-in. And I think a lot of people are thinking that way. Like, don't be so greedy that you wait for it to go to 15 because it might never happen. 
18 and 19, absolutely possible because you've just seen another support level get crushed. The 22 got crushed. The 20 is holding, but I don't know how much longer. It's got a thousand elephants on its shoulders right now. I don't know how much longer it's going to hold. For the market itself, the market in general, I'm a small business owner. I'm a real small business owner. You know what I'm saying? I own an ice cream parlor. I own a pizzeria. I own a gym. I have online companies. When I say small business owner, we're the ones taking the hardest hit from inflation, by the way. We take the hardest hit. You take the hardest hit. It's the middle class guy, you know what I'm saying, that is still paying normal taxes. They're paying their normal, you know, there's no loopholes for anybody at our level. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not making enough money to take advantage of these loopholes. So therefore, you get stuck paying the most when it comes to inflation. Most for your groceries and your food and for everything you want to do. Now, everything you go to do right now will be more expensive, yet you didn't get a pay raise. You're not making any more money in life or your career or your salary, whatever. As, as a matter of fact, a lot of people are being laid off right now and or just losing their jobs. And then you have people that don't want to work. So you have companies closing. You have businesses closing. You have mom and pop retail stores closing because nobody's going to freaking work. So, the, so people are actually the, the, you know, the salary or what you're used to making is either stagnant or lower and everything you're buying, paying for is higher. That hurts. That freaking hurts. As far as the stock market goes, it's affecting the stock market. I mean, this, the inflation, the FUD, the uncertainty People are scared, and you know what? Nobody's giving them hope. Nobody's giving them hope. My take is this, man. You could you could have the underdog team, the underdog football team, like Auburn, Alabama. The other day, Auburn played Al- Alabama. Everybody's like, holy, man, Auburn better just throw the towel in because Auburn ain't got a chance in hell against Alabama. And guess what? The underdog went into four freaking overtimes. Okay, four overtimes. That's how Auburn was fighting so freaking hard to win that game. Alabama almost lost to Auburn in the fourth freaking overtime. So anyhow, my point is when you're given hope, you know what I'm saying, and encouragement and hype, man, you can come out fighting. You have a different attitude. Your energy levels are different. You've changed because you have hope. The environment hasn't changed. The circumstances haven't necessarily changed. Criteria hasn't changed. Your mentality changed. Okay? You come out fighting a little harder because you have encouragement. You have hope. I'm going to blame it on the White House right now. They're not giving us encouragement. They're not giving us hope. They're, they're, they're spending more freaking money, which is like we already know. Inflation now is going to be at a, what is it, at a, at a 40 or 50 year all time high right now. What are they trying to do? Break an inflation record? Okay. Um, so that, the hope. There's no hope. They can, you know, the White House wants to come out and say, hey, everybody, look how awesome we're doing. They think we're stupid. Gas was 380 a gallon. No, it's only 365. Come on, we're doing a great job. We're getting them gas prices down. That's how stupid they think we are. You know what I'm saying? That's their that's their version, I guess, of encouragement. That's their way of giving hope. And all it does is it makes you all the more depressed. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing right now? You're walking with your shoulders down. You go to the gas tank and your shoulders down. You go to the grocery store. You go everywhere. Go to, go buy lumber. Go go to Lowe's to buy something for your house. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 like right now, you want to repair a deck or you want to do something. You're, you're like, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait for the prices to come down. Why would I, Why should I pay double for what I need to do right now to repair my, repair my house when I know that when this shit blows over, all the prices come down? Okay, you're just going to wait. Same with the stock market. You're just going to wait because there's way too much freaking fear and uncertainty and you're not get, you're not given any hope. I hope I'm not rambling on that, but you guys wouldn't believe what just a little bit of encouragement. You do. I think you do realize it goes a long freaking way to change a person's 
the way they see it, okay? The way they see and envision things, man. They're like, holy shit, man. Things are going to change. This is going to get better. Why am I going to hold back? I'm going to come out freaking fighting right now. So I'm just saying, man. I don't see the encouragement. The White House isn't giving us any hope. The White House is giving us a bunch of freaking smoke and mirrors and BS, man. And expecting us to buy into it. So, if that doesn't change, if that spending bill, the Build Back Better, what the hell is that crap? Build Back Better? What are you kidding me? What are we, like pre-kindergarten here? Romper Room? Build Back Better? Romper Room style? Hopefully... That doesn't get past that. That's dropped dead on arrival. And once that, I think that, once that gets smoked and pushed out of the way, you'll see some light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Because I think the Democrats will realize that they're just way overspending. They're causing all this trouble. It's all because of them. If you think about it, man, it's all, I don't give a shit about the virus, man. It's the way you handle it. All right. We either come out on top or come out on the bottom by the way you handle it. And we're coming out on the bottom because it was handled wrong, just like Afghanistan was handled wrong, all right? You can lie your way out. You can lie, 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 but that don't change the facts. All it does is add a lie on top of another lie that everybody will see. It's very transparent that you're lying because we're not idiots, okay? And again, we have an Afghanistan right here in frickin' America, USA. That's right. That's the way I look at it, all right? So, yeah, major screw-up is all I'm saying. Mistakes being made, no leadership. Very poor leadership. So, keep your hopes up, guys. And um, that's my take on AMC. Hope I didn't ramble too much. If it breaks $19, $18, I think there's going to be a huge buying frenzy. And it will shoot right back up into the high 20s, possibly low 30s, okay? Got my fingers crossed. It's time to go train, though. I got to get this shit started. Got a big group waiting on me. Hope you guys have an awesome freaking day. Doge Warrior out, baby. Shaboom. Peace. Peace.